Yeah, so um, just to clarify, updating mods mid-playthrough is generally not recommended. For most mods, you shouldn't update them mid-playthrough. Most mods, you should start a new game every time you play them. However, for some mods, uh, and the smaller the mod, the better, it's possible to design them in, in such a way that you can make it compatible with previous saves. Uh, and you have to be very careful in your design to make sure you never delete any records, you just change them or move them. Uh, you make sure you never need to add any new aliases that need filling automatically unless you're filling them with a script. You know, there's various design choices you can make to make it compatible. And Lucian is one of those mods that because he's actually quite lightweight, despite the large amount of content, he doesn't really affect the world around him, he just comments on the world. He's one of those mods that, apart from, apart from his dungeon, if I make updates to his dungeon, then they might not necessarily take effect, but there aren't any major things like that. So, the point is, Lucian is one of those mods that is specifically designed such that you can update it mid-playthrough without issue. So, don't worry about that. Don't assume that's true for all mods by any mean, but Lucian you can. Um, uh, yeah, that is true, Tense Camera If I added content early on, in the, uh, you know, for an, specifically for early in people's playthroughs and you'd have missed it, then yes, you'd want to do a new playthrough for that, but I haven't. This new update doesn't have any new content, which is early content that you'll only access at an early point. There's nothing in there that you'll miss if you install in a mid playthrough. Well, the only thing is actually, I'm telling a lie, I am lying, there is a, some slight expansion to the personal quest, the Oblivion Engine and Intruders. Those two quests have had a little, and I stress it's just a little, but there's a little bit more dialogue for those now. So if you really were a completionist who wanted to hear absolutely everything, then you'd want to replay those quests in the new update. But um, but it's nothing, you know, there's nothing plot crucial. It's not, you're not missing out on anything that's like world changing. Um, but there's a little bit added to there. But yeah, um... Oh, if you if you haven't loaded a game with a mod, then you can delete it, you can change it, you can do whatever watching hat. It's only once you start the game with the mods installed that they become locked in, and then it starts you start getting issues from updating or uninstalling them. But as I say, Lucian, safe to update at any time, it's fine. So long as you don't make a clean save. So there was this practice that, sorry, I'm, I'm waxing lyrical rather than actually modding at the start of the stream. Hope you don't mind me just chatting about this sort of stuff, I find it interesting. But the key thing is that you, uh, you if you... There used to be this thing called a clean save, which they used to tell you before people really understood how Skyrim worked. The advice used to be, you must always make a clean save when updating a mod. And what that meant was uninstalling the mod, loading up the game, saving, and installing a new mod. Over the last few years, the modding community has come to realise that you must never do this. If you uninstall a mod and then save the game, loads of stuff breaks under the hood. Um, like, uh, loads of, lo if you look in your papyrus logs, if you look at just how it all works, there's, there's everything, it's as if you, you uninstalled the mod, it's gone. So there's a whole load of stuff in your game now that's not attached to anything, that doesn't know it's, some stuff is relying on stuff that isn't there anymore. It's all horrible. And then, if you then install the mod again, which was supposedly the second part of making the clean save, then that new stuff isn't all hooked up to where the old stuff was. Some of it is, some of it isn't, it's very inconsistent, a bunch of stuff is missing, everything breaks, you get crashes, you get script bloat, save bloat, you get script lag, all sorts of nightmare. So never do this. Noona, Noona's absolutely right that that was always known as bad advice, So, but it was something that was, certainly when I started modding, it was something that was encouraged. People used to tell each other, used to recommend to each other, oh, you should make a clean save and that's how you should do it. And it's the worst possible thing you can do. So it, it, it's, it's like, I'll tell you what it's like, it's like if you are a doctor and you're trying to treat someone who's been stabbed, it's like taking the weapon out, which is something you should never do, ever, and then putting it back in again. That's the equivalent. Don't do it. Don't do that, okay? You make it even worse when you put it back in again. So don't do the clean save. Um, but yes, anyway. Uh, right. T, T is important. Crikey, Yammy! Gosh! Thank you so much! That's incredibly generous of you. Considering I haven't done anything. 
Um, but that 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 is wonderful of you. Thank you. That's that's. I don't know what to say really. That's really kind. Um, and it's got to have bumped you up a bit, Tear. You've got to have unlocked something for that. I don't know. Um, but that's that's amazing. Thank you, Yami. Really appreciate that. That'll buy me dinner, a couple of times. I can't even work out how much that is. What's that? A hundred, a hundred, a thousand, a hundred bits is one. So that's like a hundred. Yeah, blimey. Wow. That'll take me and my family out a few times. Thank you so much, Yami. When that's legal again, of course, and not COVID. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Right. Yes, steak dinners, Yami. Exactly. Steak dinners. Um... Right, what's going on, Tans Coyle says. Nothing really, I've just been chatting as I do, just sort of prattling nonsense. I do need to get set up so that we can do some actual modding, and as I said, we're going to be voice acting today. Loads of that. Order Deliveroo, I could do, Morgan, that's true. Uh, yeah, bits. Bits are virtual currency through Twitch, Tans Coyle, that you can use to donate to and support streamers. So if you cheer with bits, then you get, uh, you get money that you can, that I, I get money that I can then spend on, on, on life things. Um, money can be exchanged for goods and services. I don't know why I'm trying to explain this bit. You, I know you get the money bit. <laughs> it's the bits bit that needed explaining. Um, anyway, right, yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and get things set up then because I'm behind as ever. Um, yes, that's a really good idea, Nuna. Right, creation kit. We're going to need that. We're going to need the CK open. We're going to need Cubase. Now, I'm about to open my sound editing software. When I do this, sometimes the audio cuts out. Consider yourself warned. I will I will bring it back in again. You know, I will fix the audio as soon as possible. But if it drops out, please don't panic and all leave the stream or, or, or disconnect everything or, or I don't know. Don't panic. It's fine. Um... But yeah, hopefully it won't even drop out. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, but I'm just warning you. So we're opening the software now. Yes, we do have tiny little hats as the sub badges. They were made by the wonderful Shiva from our Discord, who sometimes shows up on these streams as well. And they're very cute, aren't they? So at various different sub uh, sub tiers, you know, when you've been uh, subbed for certain numbers of months, you unlock a different hat for Lucian. Uh, and the hat that you get at nine months, for instance, that uh, Bard there has is a sweet roll hat. So he wears a sweet roll on his head. Uh, Shackleberry's got a little wizard a wizard hat. I think that's very cute as well. Ace has got Cicero, Jester hat. And so is May. I think they're very cute. And Nuna has got the 12 month flower crown, which is adorable. So we love, we love those. Love the hats. Shiva also made Tiny Lucian. So um, you'll see him on the stream. He's my Shimiji, my little virtual desktop pet that I will be releasing on the Nexus along with version 1.6.0. So if any of you want a Tiny Lucian as well, I'll be popping that up there so you guys can download it and have him running around on your desktop. But if you want if you want him even sooner, you can always pick him up on my Discord. There's a link there if you search for Shimiji. Um, but Tiny Lucian is also a little animation that plays on the bottom left of my... Uh, bottom left down here. My alerts for... Um, when people sub and stuff, you see the little Tiny Lucian doing Tiny Lucian things. <sighs> of course you can leave my stream on. Please leave my stream on. I, I need the viewers. <laughs> I try my best. I do appreciate it when I have viewers. It, it makes me happy. You know, <laughs> so please leave the stream on. Uh, oh, there was a message from Helios the Hollow. Do you know when the next part of How to Make a Follower uh, is? It has helped me tremendously in your voices. The only one easy to understand when learning the process and learn it. Uh, yes, so I was always saying that I won't do the next version of... Uh, I won't do the next episode of How to Make a Follower model like Lucian Flavius until I'd finished Lucian version 1.6.0. I've been focusing on that. But that is done. And I'm uploading it very soon. Because it's in beta testing and it's nearly done. So, as soon as that's done, I'm going to start work on making the next episode of the series. I may, I'll be honest, I may take a little break. Like, I may have a few days off just to relax because I haven't had a holiday in quite a long time. And I still have my PhD work to do, but, you know, I might, might just put my feet up a little bit. So, don't expect it straight away. But, but I, it will be my next project after releasing 1.6.0 will be to do the, the update, uh, do, the, do a, the next part of that series. So, you shouldn't have too much longer to wait. 
I'm sorry I can't be more specific than that because I never know how much time I'm going to get. I never know how long work is going to take. I never know, uh, you know, what I'm going to have to do, what real life stuff is going to be flung at me left, right and centre as does tend to occur. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it'll be my next, that's my next on the list will be to do that. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. do I find it awkward if people just listen to me? No, I, I like it when, when people listen to the stream, that makes the numbers go up and we like, we like the numbers. If the numbers go up above 75 on average at any point, I get to be a Twitch partner and that unlocks all sorts of great things for all of us. So, so... We've never got the numbers that high on any kind of consistent basis, except when we're occasionally raided. Um, but it doesn't happen very often. But if I can ever get my numbers up that high, if I can ever get the average viewers up above 75, then we'll be a Twitch partner. And then and then, then fun things. Uh, so that would be really nice. But, um, but we're a good long way from that yet. But yes, if you could, yes, Bard, if you could tell your friends about my streams and encourage them to watch, that would be wonderful. But only if you think your friends will actually like my content, which is probably not going to be everyone. But there we go. Um, will the follower making tutorial work for other Bethesda games using a similar game engine like Gek for FNV and FO3? To an extent, yes, but not fully. So I can't, I'll be honest, I haven't modded for Fallout. Uh, or any other game apart from Skyrim, so I can't I can't tell you if it will for sure. But a lot of the core creation kit stuff, or the uh, what did they call it before then? What was it? It was called something else before assembly kit. What was it? It was called something else, and then it became the creation kit for Skyrim. But like the older versions, they share a lot of the same core methods and code and everything, so a lot of it will apply. But don't just recreate it and expect it to work out the box because it probably won't. But I can't tell. Construction set. That's it. Noon has got it. Um, so I, I can't. I couldn't tell you for sure um, whether it would or not. But there will be something useful in there, I'm sure. Um, hey, for sanity, doing very well. Thank you. Hope you are too. I was just telling everyone that I'm hoping to do the new version of 1.6.0 of Lucian very, very soon. So you, you're allowed to get a little bit hyped about that if you want. Um, yeah, I I had ideas for a while of potentially doing, uh, you know, modding for some of the other Fallout games or uh, Oblivion or anything like that. But I'll be honest, I've had enough on my plate with Skyrim as it is. We'll see where things go further down the line over the next couple of years or whatever and what, what people want and what seems like. Because I always try and do, you know, the things I always balance are what's going to be fun for me, what's going to be fun for everyone else, and how much effort it is to do those things. So I kind of prioritize, I'll be honest, I prioritize fun for me in the modding process because if modding is fun, if any kind of work is fun, it makes you want to do it more. So ultimately, if I work on things that I find fun, it means you guys get more content and everything's just better. And I'm having more fun, you know, everything's better. So I prioritize fun and then I'm also balancing what you guys will enjoy versus the work that it's going to take. So what I have to weigh up if I'm looking at, you know, getting into Fallout and modding something for that or for oblivion or whatever is i have to familiarize myself with that i have to learn a new set of modding tools i have to learn the lore and everything and then i have to actually create the thing for an audience which let's be honest will probably be smaller than the skyrim one because that is where i'm known you know that's where you guys know me from the skyrim mod uh, and, and Skyrim is still this massively popular thing, and Fallout is too, it's still massively popular, but I think, I haven't run the numbers, but I'm pretty sure the popularity of, say, Skyrim Special Edition at the moment is significantly higher than Fallout New Vegas in terms of mod downloads. I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure those are the stats on the Nexus. So, it would be difficult. And then when you come to Fallout 4, I would have to, as Shuckleberry points out, I would have to splice dialogue for the player's voice for every interaction with Lucian, and I'll tell you, for nothing, I'm not doing that. It's far too much effort for far too little gain. I hate splicing dialogue. As many of you will know from hearing me complain about this, splicing dialogue is incredibly frustrating and never produces results that I'm happy with. So, no, Fallout 4, I wouldn't ever do a follower mod for because of having to splice the player dialogue. And if Bethesda do that for Elder Scrolls 6, it's going to be a big problem for me. But I don't think they will. I think Elder Scrolls, I would be surprised if they introduced the player voice, but if they did, that that would be 
would be stressful. I don't really know how I would handle that. Because I would love to mod for Elder Scrolls 6 when that comes out, because I already know the lore, we have already have this history of Lucy, and we have this sort of shared universe of all my kind of stories and everything connecting together, and I would love to continue that story into Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, and bring Lucian forward somehow into that. I would love to do that, but if they if they do a voice protagonist for it, then then I can't. So there you go. I'll have to see what happens. Anyway, um, right, I've got Cubase open, and that didn't crash the audio, so that's good. I've got the creation kit open. I need we need tiny Lucian, and we need to bump my screen resolution down to 1080p, so you guys actually stand a chance of being able to read what I'm typing. So let's do that as well. Oh, and I haven't got my laptop to read the chat. That was short-sighted of me. It's downstairs. I may need to dash off for a minute to go and grab that. Let me just get everything else set up first. Feel free to ask me any further questions while we're at it. Uh, there we go. That's the resolution. We'll need Tiny Lucian summoned too. I heard there was a Shimiji who was really rather tiny. And dreamed of sweet rose on the bottom of my desktop. Did he? He is a bean. Uh, Joseph Russell going to be very salty if they do a voice protagonist. Yes, that is an accurate way of describing how I would feel if they did do that. So I really hope they don't. Depending on on, on how far into the Elder Scrolls time and Elder Scrolls Six is, could we see an older Lucian? Yes, you could. That's one possibility. It depends entirely on what narrative decisions they make, whether it's in the future, whether it's in the past, whether it's a hundred years in the future, whether it's just five years in the future. Because I can't voice an old man. I can't do an old man voice. Or I can't consistently anyway. You could kind of do a little bit of an old man, Lucian. I say, goodness me. Marvellous. I'm not as young as I used to be. Uh, but I couldn't keep that up for thousands of lines of dialogue. So, um, so we probably wouldn't have old man Lucian. Uh, but, um... But I would like to bring the character forward somehow, and I have lots of different ideas of ways I could approach that that will work probably in any setting. It would be quite hard, be quite hard pushed to for them to find an Elder Scrolls Six setting that I couldn't release some version of Lucian for, because we can always do time travel shenanigans if we need to. Um, hi, Vickle. Thank you so much for renewing your sub at tier three. Still very generous of you. Lovely to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope all is well in the world of Vickle. Um, I, Able Mind, I, I've never been keen on um on doing on the descendants trope. So it happens quite often in, in all forms of media, really, where you have the descendant played by the same person and named the same thing as the ancestor or whatever, and it always just the suspension of disbelief isn't quite maintained when you do that. So, I I just I'm just I'm real I would be reluctant to go down that that route. If we were gonna have, you know, if we were gonna have Lucian, it would be Lucian. It wouldn't be his great 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 grandson or anything. It it would be Lucian. We can if it's that far in the future, we'll just throw him through the Oblivion Gate and do some time travel. You know, I can I can I can fangle the law to make it work. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Hey Panther Brain, welcome to the stream. Marine Verdancy, you still have your sub badge. You have your little wizard Lucian there. I love that vehicle. Peach a keen, jelly bean. That's, that's, I, I might start saying that more in life. You know, I think I'll just build that into my, uh, uh, in the words of Jeff Goldblum, I think I'll pepper that into my conversations from now on. Um, so yeah. Or just make my Elder Scrolls 6 mod jacuzzi. <laughs> I think we'll focus on Lucian. Um, but yeah, I don't need to fangle very much. No, exactly, Able Mind. It's it's not too tricky. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, Jacuzzi isn't the best. Jacuzzi is is useful for the purpose of demonstrating how to make a follower mod. I, I don't think we could ever argue that Jacuzzi was ever going to be a particularly good follower mod. If anything, because I'm not very good at my Khajiit voice. It's it's good enough for the sake of what it is, but it's it's that's never going to be a uh, a big deal, I don't think. I will release it when the tutorial series is done. Um, <laughs> yeah, the bubbly personality joke. I thought that was funny, Nina, so I'm glad you enjoyed. I hope it's good kind of mad. Hey, Grunge and Roses, welcome to the stream. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, ooh, Jacuzzi with Inigo interactions. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> yeah, um... That that is a that that would be a step, you know. Let's let's maybe take one thing at a time, just a little bit. 
I think there are higher priorities than trying to achieve something like that. Um, Jacuzzi the Dragonborn when? Yeah, that, that probably won't, won't happen anytime soon. Uh, posture check? Certainly will. Also, uh, hey, Panther Brain, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hey, the Legendary Phoenix? Lots of people turning up. Why are you all here? What have I done this week that's different to previous weeks? I mean, it's great that you're all here. It's really lovely. Just curious as to what, what I've done to encourage you all to show up this time around so that I can do it more in the future. Did I put something on my on my description or something on my am I am I not am I just not clashing with someone that I normally clash with? What what's happening? Did I get a haircut? I did get a haircut. Yes, my brother cut it for me cuz haircut haircuts hair salons are closed in the UK at the moment. Um they are um they 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 they're closed. You can't go to them. Uh however, my uh my brother is a dab hand with a little beard trimmery thing um so he like uh did had, had a go with that zipping it up the back of my head and snippity snippy snip snip and i think it looks all right you know it's not the best it's ever been in my life but it's pretty good certainly a lot better than it was because definitely going a little bit mop like i think a bang up job bang up job it's bang tidy in it it's bang tidy job oh well, that's lovely Oh, lovely of SBC is Gar Gary send people to me. That's very nice. Thank you, Gary. That's lovely of you. Um, I'm up to 70 viewers now, so that is very exciting. Oh, and Lich Demon's linked the stream to your RP friends from where? Oh, well, that's lovely. Thank you, friends, for linking it to each other. I I'm afraid I don't really have anything very interesting to uh, to grab all of your attentions, but I hope I, I will do my best to be entertaining. Um, it doesn't get in the way of modding, that is true. Having having less hair is good because it means you can see more. It doesn't get in your eyes. Thank you for the bits, Celestial Heavens. Oh, well, that's very rude of work, Vickle, but I'm thrilled to have you here today. It's very lovely to have you join. I I no, I've missed the point. The spicy Cheetos for the breakfast of champions. How, how, what? How did that happen? What, what what does that mean? Where are the G... G what makes it... I'm lost. I think I've obviously missed something in the chat here. Uh, unless this is a meme. Maybe this is a meme from someone uh, that I'm... That's passed me by. Um, <laughs> has he? Has Butane posted... Uh, sorry, not Butane. Gary shared the link on his Twitter. Well, that is incredibly lovely. That explains why you're all here. Oh, well, that's very lovely. Thank you, Gary, for doing that. If you are listening, which I assume you probably are, if you just posted a link, you are a lovely person. Um, I, I appreciate that very much. As you know, you know I think you're a lovely person, but you are a lovely person, so thank you for the boost. Most appreciated. Praise be to Gary, etc., etc. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, Vickle, yes. Uh, am I still working through the 1.6 update? It's done. It's finished. Uh, it's in beta testing, and the beta testing is nearly done. Uh, we are nearly done with the beta testing, and then, uh, and it's all gone very well so far. So we're nearly there. There's, uh, just a little bit of finalising of testing left to do, and then release time. So, very soon. Very, very soon indeed, you will get the update. So, you're allowed to be a little bit hyped if you want to. Don't get too hyped because I don't want to, if something comes out of it in the next 24 hours where someone reports a massive game-breaking bug, then obviously we'll have to push it back a bit further. So cross fingers, touch wood, etc. But at the moment, it's looking like I'll be able to release in a matter of sort of days rather than weeks or months. So that's very exciting. Gary does have a Twitter and you should all follow him. If you search Smart Blue Cat, Smart Blue Cat on Twitter, um, he has a Twitter where he posts uh, interesting information about Inigo and all sorts. You should all give him a follow. Um, Thank you so much for the bits, Vickle and my uh, creation kit. We are sorted. We can start recording. Oh, the guy who makes Lucian Flavius. Oh, yeah, no, he's not called Lucian. Oh, he's such a, such a so-and-so. He is such a lazy mod author. I mean, he won't even make Lucian Romanceable. What's that all about? Honestly. <sighs> That guy. I think he's called, like, Rosef Jussel or something ridiculous. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Striped Polka Dots. 
Clive Romanceable when? That, well, that that's a question. That's a question with an answer and that answer is 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 now surprise i've released an update to make clive romance but i haven't done that we'll do romanceable dooms with our first <laughs> um uh but yeah uh no that's that's a joke in case you you wonder thank you so much for the follow cream soda that is very lovely as well. Tense Chamomile says, I would like Lucian's character to be delved in deeper backstory and all. Well, you will be getting that. Uh, I have a number of projects on the go at the moment to tell you quite a bit more about Lucian. Give you a flesh out his story a bit more. And uh, yeah, I, I talked ages ago about doing more Flavius Chronicles, more prequel stories, which I have never got around to doing. I would love to do. And I do have one that's all about Lucian before he came to Skyrim that's half finished on my hard drive. So you will get that at some point. If you want to find out a bit more about Lucian's backstory, uh, that'll be on my website. So, you know, if you've never been on my website, do check it out because it's got stories and backstory and stuff. Um, Lucian version 1.666, Dooms Without Transports is consciousness into new medium and can be married. Well, that would be quite, quite dramatic. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, Valley of Plenty, O oh, Valley of Plenty, ho oh. ho Chat is going fast today, yes, there's there's lots of chat going on. Uh, including one person who's being mean. There we go. Right. Have I learned out of touch? No, I haven't. I can't remember what that is. Is that someone someone mentioned before? Um, yes, the creator of Inigo did tweet about me, which was a very lovely thing, striped polka dots. So I am I'm thrilled that so many of you have turned up to see me do nonsense. Uh, however, I will actually uh, load up some modding content now so that you can see what I'm actually doing. So we can actually do something vaguely productive. Da da do da da do do ba ba da ba ba ba. So, uh, work today working on uh, the Saints and Seducers plugin for Lucian, and I'm recording dialogue today. Uh, that you've probably heard me say that lots of times. Those of you who've been around for a while, but um, yeah, recording dialogue, dialogue recording session today. I've already burnt through 45 minutes of it doing nothing, but. We are going to do it. So for that, I'm going to need my pop filter, which is this thing. So here we go. We need to pop that in front to make sure that the plosives all get nicely muffled. If I can get it to actually if I can persuade it to behave, which I can't. Bear with. Do 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 da 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 Right. Come on, stay still. It sometimes misbehaves like this. And it won't actually stay. There you go. That's how we want it. Just like that. Should catch all the plosives from the sounds. Very good. Alright, now I'm going to banish myself down into my little octagon in the corner. Here we go. Uh, yeet. Right. So, creation kit. Show only active forms. Pick up with the dialogue where we left off last time. See if I can find where, in fact, that is. Uh, so we went through player dialogue. We did the Jigalag stuff, didn't we? Recorded a bunch of stuff about Jigalag's sword, which if we open up, so is, yep, we've got the lines there. We went on to combat, didn't we? We did go back to sh give Shea Groth our regards. Okay, we did some of this. We did Kinthal, you're a terrible person. I just want you to know that. All clear? Splendid. Oh, no, we didn't. I obviously didn't actually export that line. I do thought, think I remembered recording it. But we obviously didn't actually export it. So, um, you can get on and do that now. Yes, it is a good day, isn't it? Hooray for good day. 
We, we, we do like a good day. <sighs> when the humble bard graced a ride along with Geralt of Rivia, along came the song. Okay, we're going to want this sort of vaguely full screen, if you can possibly manage that. Lovely stuff. See if I can find that line about Kinthal. If I actually ever recorded it. For which I need to use these headphones. You won't be able to hear me play these lines back, I'm afraid. That's a sad problem with the, uh, the sound card not sharing between software. Can't fix it, so you'll just have to take my word for it that it all sounds amazing. Right, here is the line. The Kinthal line was was recorded. So I'm just going to pop you back on the camera mode just to make sure I don't show you anything that uh, that I don't want you guys to see at this stage. Because I don't want to uh, give away any spoilers of anything that I want to be fresh and exciting when you guys get to play the update. So I'm just making sure that that's all fine. Thank you so much for the sub, Vickle. That's very lovely of you. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum, 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 Okay. And we're also going to want J.R. Lucian voice for the Saints and Seducers patch. Bum, 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 bum. Sacrilicious, I'm renumbering 290,000 form IDs of Tamriel references and X-Edit so I can copy them into DLC2 Solstein World to generate the Lord. So far, it's been running for eight hours. Crikey, that is a big job. I'm amazed it can cope. But I'm I'm very... That's it's a really cool idea, you know, to combine those world spaces. So you can actually go between them. I think it's really cool. It, it is a little bit nuts. Can't argue with that. Right, okay. I can put the camera back now, I think, because I'm not showing you anything that I don't wish to. Ba, 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 ba. So I'm going to re-export this line. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I know I keep changing everything. Uh, just going to check that that's not going to show up with anything. Nope, that's good. Okay, right, we're going to go back again. Sorry. Here you go. I'm going to re-export this line, and this is going to be called Saints and Seducers Combat 1. You might be able to hear Grey jumping around my room in the background, playing with things, chasing something, causing shenanigans and chaos. You do get a cute little Lucian badge. Right, so here we are, Combat. You can see down here, by the way, uh, the eagle-eyed among you. We'll see, I was recording some songs the other day for Lucian to sing. So in the new version of Lucian, you'll be able to say, sing for me. Um, under the do something uh, options, you know, do something for me, you'll be able to choose sing for me. And he'll sing five songs on demand for you. And you can also leave him on shuffle mode as well. So I did Cliff Racer. as so we did the Cliff Racer song, new version of that. We did Ragnar the Red. Tale of the Tongues, which you'll only unlock when you've completed the main quest to be consistent with the main game. Uh, Age of Aggression, not Age of Oppression because um, of Lucian is an Imperial. Um, and uh, Dragonborn comes. Uh, so they're all there and you can listen to all of those on demand, as I say. Uh, sadly, they're a cappella because I'm not good enough at the guitar yet to be able to play a lute part, but I would love to do that for a future update. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, you can also put him on shuffle mode. You can say, just keep singing until I tell you to stop, and he'll just shuffle through them. He'll never sing the same one twice in a row. Uh, exactly, Sacrilicious. Uh, thank you for the bits, Vickle. But it's like, flying, flying in the sky. Cliff racer flies so high. Flying. Can he sing while sitting? Yes, he can, Nuna. Uh, it shouldn't stop him from singing if he's sitting down. It shouldn't make any difference. He should carry on doing whatever you last set him to do. So, yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Video Freak. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day. He won't sing in battle. No, so the, the singing will, will interrupt. If, if he enters combat, he'll stop singing, and then you'll have to tell him to start singing again, because I thought that might, might be a little too Lucian, really. As much as he probably would sing in battle, it, it's probably just maybe a step too far. 
Um, thank you so much for the sub, Tillerana. And for the lovely words, that's very kind of you. I do try. Have I considered any songs from ESO? Yes, I have. And I would like to, and it's a good idea. In the interests of actually releasing this update before I die of old age, I've drawn the line at the Songs in Skyrim and the Cliff Racer song, and that's what we've got there at the moment. But in the future, I would love to do go back and do some of the ESO songs, because there's no reason Lucian wouldn't know them. He probably would know them. So, like, the Plain Meld is nigh... Uh, and the other one, the other ones from ESO, I would love to record some versions of those to add to his list. So they will probably come in version 1.7.0. Yeah. Is there a song about Liam the Lucky? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think Liam's on the name list. Uh, there is Lucille the Lucky. I think I think it's Lucille the Lucky. Something I did do Lucky the Lucky for something. Because I seem to spend my life googling uh, words, adjectives that start with L or M or whatever. Trying to come up with a unique song for every custom name for Patreon supporters. You know, so I keep doing that. <laughs> and, and then on Rhyme Zone to try and find a word that will rhyme appropriately with one. Are there any Nordic names that Lucian says? I'll tell you what, Caesar. Give me a minute. I will read you every name i can't show you the list but i will read you a list of all the names that are going to be in the new update and then you can tell me if you like the sound of any of those and you can plan your characters or whatever for when that update comes out in a few days time so here we go adiel aiden alexander alucard amafrey amanda amata anais angund annika Aoife, ari Aria, Ansel, Ashley, Argela, Avery, Belladonna, Benito, Bethany, Bjorn, Bran, Callum, Candle, Castian, Kaylee, Kevin, Christopher, Cthulin, Daniel, Darzan, Joe, David, Deja, Dent, Draylon, Draconis, Drataro, Co, Dylan, Edwin, Eric, Elise, Elizabeth, Ellie, Amelia, Enora, Erlyria, Eekthane, uh, oh sorry, Eekthane, Fenlin, Flint, Freya, Gary, Gerwolf, Gornair, Gronk, Guts, Hannah, Havlir, Hossam, Isabel, Ishmael, Jack, Yalmig, that's a Nordic y sounding one, uh, James, Janus, Jari, Genevieve, Jennifer, Jessica, Jondor, Joseph, Joshua, Kavash, Kayla, Kazan, Kiali, Keat, Kirili, Kisara, Komora, Corgan, Kylie, Lacourt, Liana, Leonard, Lily, Lena, Lisa, Lucille, Mabalock, Martin, Marwin, Matthew, Michael, Michaela, Mikhail, Min, Minerva, Mittens, Morgan, Morwen, Narwen, Nara, Nainar, uh, Narian, Narusa, Nils, Nicodemus, Knox, Paula, Quinn, Rasha, Raven, Raymere, Raina, Ren, Reptar, Rainis, Robert, Rosen, Rune, Ryuma, Salim, Sarah, Scorpius, Silgan, Sakesh, Soki, Solana, Svea, Terra, Tetra, Tilvian, Ushitul, Valen, Velaya, Varuith, V, Veronique, Vesha, Victoria, Vilius, Volanaire, Walks in Sleep, William, Willow, Yarlak, Ilva, Ingrid, Zamaja, and Zinnia. Don't tell me you want that again. That's the lot. 149 of them. So uh, pick a name on that if you want to clip it or whatever and replay to go through the list again. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, that's your lot. Um, so there you go. There's, uh, I think, 63 new ones in the new update. Um, yes, Kazan's in there, Lich Demon. Absolutely. Sounds like the Pokemon rap, yeah. <laughs> it's about the right number of names, isn't it? Um, if any of you have requested a name on Patreon uh, and you've missed, and I and I wasn't on that list, uh, do let me know because I've missed you out. Uh, and if I have, I'm afraid, I'm sorry, it won't be in the next update, but I will endeavour to get it out in a in a quick patch update uh, in like a few weeks' time or something. If I have missed you out, as well, I hope that's okay. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't missed anyone out. I've combed through my lists. 
Um, did Lily's song get corrected? Yes. And Fenlene's. Because Lily and Fenlene, I had... Well, Lily... Fenlene's song was singing for Lily, and Fenlene's song was missing. So I fixed those. So that's, uh, that's fixed for the new update. Now do it like the periodic table song. There was Addie Yelenaid and Alexander Ran Alucard, Amafrey and Amanda and Amata and Anais, and Angle and Anna Cam. No, we're not doing that. Um, okay, right, we'll go back to the screen with camera, and I'll close that down because there's, um, uh, you know, personal information of the people who've requested them. There are songs for the names, so not all of the names have songs, but all the names that were requested by Patreon supporters have a special have a unique version of Ragnar the Red recorded just for them. So I have all sorts going on there. We've got, as I say, Luce there once was a hero named Lucille the Lucky. Da -da 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 -da. I can't remember how that goes, but rhymes with plucky. You know, there's there's a each one of the names that was requested by Patreon people has a special song for it. So uh Vickle, you have some special songs in there. I hope you like them. Uh for the names that you've requested. But yeah, there you go. I'm afraid I don't know that song, Mr. Video Freak, so I won't be able to sing it. Right, transition. Let's actually record some dialogue! By the way, I can hear people with power tools outside, so that may be slightly problematic. But we'll try and march boldly on anyway. No, it's it's a sporadic. I just heard a, a, a power saw go, but I uh, but it hasn't gone since so thank you so much for the bits vickle gosh you are endlessly generous um yeah i hope you enjoy them there's lots of stuff you know there's uh, I, the point was i did a new custom line for each month that you guys stayed subscribed on patreon so you should uh there's quite a few extra lines for well there's loads of stuff i mean i think the one with most no i'm not going to tell you which one has the most lines actually because that'll mean you all just use the same name and i think it takes the fun out of it a bit but um but there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's lots of, so there's lots of new lines for existing names as well. So older, all the names that were already there have loads of new points in the game where Lucian will call you by name as well. So there's, there's 2,000 new lines of dialogue in the update. There's a lot of it. So I hope you like it. I hope it's worth the wait. Sorry it was a year. That was way longer than I expected it to be. But, um, I hope you enjoy it. Would you consider Jess slash Jessica a Je uh, Elder Scrolls name? Uh, it can be. I don't know. You can have. You can justify any name in the Elder Scrolls, can't you? Just say you're from some obscure province or uh, from a from an island or something. Thanks, Shuckleberry. Right, let's record a line. Let's do some dialogue. Um, I will just close my window to try and muffle some of the outside sound. I'm going to have to warm up a little bit to get into character, so bear with me while Lucian.exe stops responding. Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius. Hello, I say, goodness me, marvellous. Gosh, I say, hello. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, something musician, although I suppose that's more of a hobby, really. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic. The architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me, not on my own anyway, so I'm looking for someone to travel with. Hello, Silver the Mammoth. Welcome to the stream. Okay, right, I'm warmed up now. So, what's my next line I've got to record? What kind of crazy writer wrote the rest of this? Right, Thoron. When Lucian Speed runs his introduction, exactly. Can you tell I've been testing the mod a lot lately? <laughs> <sighs> right, let's record. So this is in combat. It's tense, dramatic. Thoron! Nope, voice crack. <clears throat> Thoron! How would he say it? Th higher than that. Sort of Thoron. Mm. Yeah. Thoron! No. Great. No jingly bell. Stop. Desist. Stop. No. Jeez, what? What? Okay. You might have to pause for a second. Because Grey is 
I was pointing, and now she's interested in my finger. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, you're very cute. I need to do some. I need to do some dialogue returning. Pop it. Returning? Recording? I do. She's just looking at me now. Should we try anyway? Right. Thoron, you need to stop this, or I'm afraid we'll have no choice but to stop you. Ah, Ray. <laughs> we got a jingle. It was a good take, but we got a jingle. We did. We did. We did. We got a little jingle in the background. I know, you just want to help, don't you? Yeah. Go on, go to sleep. Go and go to sleep. Go and snooze. Right, we'll try again. Nope. Stop, stop. Will you stop? Stop. Thoron! You need to stop this! Or I'm afraid we'll have no choice but to stop you. What do you think? I think that sounded alright. Let's replay that. Oh, hang on. He sounds like he's emotionally invested in Thoron. In a good way? Or in a, is it too emotionally invested? Does it need to be angrier? We can take it angrier. We'll make it angrier, we'll make it bigger. I'll keep that take in case we want it. Like he's pining for Thoron. Thoron. Oh, Thoron. Oh, Thoron, why? Thoron! You need... Oh, hello. That went weird. You need... One more time. Thoron! You need to stop this. Or I'm afraid we'll have no choice but to stop you. That sounds good to me. I'll take that. See you, tense chamomile. Have a lovely rest of your day. Anger. Lucy and Angie, no talk him here, Angie. If that's the angriest you've ever heard Lucian, you should check out the, um, the, uh, Dungeons and Dragons stream we did. He got quite cross, quite cross in that. He fight. Bit too much Joseph and not enough Lucian. Ah! Meh. I think it's all right. Thing is, you don't often hear Lucian be angry, and when for him to be angry, his voice needs to go a bit deeper, which necessarily brings him in line with me a bit more. It doesn't sound quite so angry if it's like, Thoron, you need to stop this! Grr, I'm gonna hit you! Gosh! Come on! Put him up then! I say! Let's have an old one-two, Thoron! Right, let's export that. Let me at him! Let me at him! Scrappy dabby doo! Exactly. Shooby dooby 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 doo. Does Lucian have an official canon birthday? No, he doesn't, because I haven't decided it. He does have a canon birth year or in the prequel story, War's End, but he doesn't have a birthday. Well, he does have a birthday. Uh, it's just not, um... Wait, what's going on here? What did I do? Did I just export the same line twice? Oh no, Kintha, we need to re- Ah, yes, right, got it. Uh, no. No, I've never said he's born under the mage sign, I don't think. Did I? Did I say that? You both seem to have remembered it. Really? Did I? Ah, well there you go. You guys have remembered some canon. 
You have, he, he might have a stone. I might have said it about the lady stone. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Oh, crikey. Maybe he's born under the lady stone then. You'll have to find out by playing the mod. Because we added a bunch of, um, uh, of uh, standing stone comments in the new update. You'll see it. If you play the new update, you will see he has comments on every standing stone. And apparently, apparently his sign is, um, is the lady stone, according to the, the people who actually listen to me when I say nonsense on these streams. So there you go. But no, there's no point in the game where Lucian will go, Oh, it's my birthday today. But we could do that in the future. Happy birthday to me. Etc, etc. Right. to another line. You know, you really don't seem as saintly as your name implies. Give him presents every day. That's an excellent solution, Nuna. Definitely give Lucian presents. Give him sweet rolls. He likes sweet rolls. Ah, that's annoying. On really there, there was a little tick somehow. A little a little audio judder. We'll have to try it one more time. A little click. You know, you really don't seem as saintly as your name implies. No, we'll do one more take. You know, you really don't seem as saintly as your name implies. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Yeah, I like that, that'll do. Um, no, Lucian does not eat the sweet rolls like Inigo does, as much as that might be something that Lucian might do. Uh, there comes a point where one is just nicking ideas. And I, if I were to just pinch that idea, I think that would be a little bit... Um, a little bit plagiarism-y. So, so no, we'll leave that as an Inigo thing. Can't just, just jack all the, all the good ideas, can you? There's inspiration and there's plagiarism, and I think you've got to, got to uh, find the line there, haven't you? Hey, Simply Curious, welcome to the stream. ba ba would Lucian try wine? Not necessarily, Caesar. I don't drink alcohol, and um, I've never been sure whether that's a trait that I want to pass on to Lucian or not, so I've always avoided the topic. Because um, I'm not sure at the moment whether that's something that he has. So I wouldn't want to comment on that just at the moment. Lucian is currently carrying over 60 sweet rolls. That sounds like you're treating him right, a singular B. Well done, you get the Joseph Seal of Approval there. Silver Mammoth just uncovered the plot of uh, Lucian's third personal quest. The Rise of Nyakul. That, that, there's me joking, by the way. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, that's a new line there. I'm doing the wrong one. Hang on. Just check that that's been properly exported. Yep, we're all good. Okay, on to the next one then. Ah! We skipped ahead. That's not what we want. Oh, power saw going. The real 
Golden Saints. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Frey, stop jingling your bell. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. This is... Nyakel Swivalf. Hello there. My name is Nyakel Swivalf. And I am from... Sweden. No, um, I don't know what happened there, really. But yes. Okay, great. If you could please just stop jingling. Okay, we'll give her a second to settle down. Um, do I have any recommendations for fancy soft drinks you could add to your Tesco slash Ocado orders? Um, Tesco do some lovely low alcohol and non alcoholic uh, wines and um, uh, and champagnes, uh, which you can well, sparkling wines, which I thoroughly recommend because they're always lovely. Um, San Pellegrino lemonade is my favourite lemonade, but it's expensive. Is the problem? I can't really afford it when it's not on offer. Uh, but it is sometimes an offer, and if you see it on offer, I very much recommend that. Um, they also do, and I can't remember the brand, but they do some lovely non-alcoholic G&Ts. Um, which you can get. I think Tesco do them. They're in, like, little glass bottles. And they're, uh, I think they're just, uh, they're gin-flavoured tonic. I think is what it's described as. Um, but they are really nice. Have them with a slice of lemon and some ice. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. You're just playing dress up. Mm. Come on, Grey. Seriously. This is becoming a problem now. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. The real Golden... Mm, that was weird. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. You're just playing dress up. Okay, I can't hear any bell jingling on the back. I think we got away with that one. But I don't really like the take. I think I could do it better, which is frustrating because Grey's totally going to jingle again now. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. You're just. Come on, we can do it. The real Golden Saints are far more impressive. You're just playing dress up. I think that sounds good. I think it sounds good. Play it back, play it back. Wahoo! It's a me, a Mario! Yeah, I like that take. I think that was good. You're just... Nah! <laughs> yes, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> See ya, Caesar 79. Wow, that was a lot of S's. Sibilant. See ya, Caesar 79. I say See ya, Caesar 79. Chester chooses chives. He chooses them and he chooses them. He chooses them and he chooses them. Round and round the ragged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. A proper copper lock pick for a proper copper lock. Jingling could always be blamed on a nearby Nern route. I mean, maybe. But it's not ideal. Ah, right, this line. I liked this line. Let's have a go. I don't know 
know much about seduction, but I'm pretty sure you're doing it wrong. Don't get me started on Dwemer Ruins, Anxious Ace. Dwemer Ruins. Dark and dangerous Dwemer Ruins. Ruins. I don't know much about seduction, but I'm pretty sure you're doing it wrong. It's a me, a Mario. I'm a doctor, race car driver, tennis player, amateur adventurer, and something of a plumber. Though I suppose that's uh, more of a hobby. I'm here in the Mushroom Kingdom to rescue Peach. For academic reasons, mainly. I find the princess simply fascinating. Also, the flora, the fauna, the ruins. Both dry, dry, and any other ruins that we have in, in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, oh no, what is going on there? Why do I only have command line 5? Export. Export the dialogue, yes? It's me, a Patonax. Uh, what is better? To be born evil or to overcome uh, one's evil nature through great effort? No, to be gone. What is better? To be born good or to overcome one's evil nature through great effort? I think I am a paraphrasing, but there you go. Proper copper lockpicks. Ah, now the function of soul gems in dwarven automaton automatons is not well documented. Nobody really knows how they work in the lore. Lucian talks about this when he's talking about Dooms Bathar. See ya, Silver the Mammoth. Hello, Taloniaris. Yes, Lucian is an Imperial. His mother fights in the Imperial Legion. Uh, so, yes, he, he is definitely not neutral. His preference is definitely towards the Imperial side rather than the Stormcloak. However, he has no commentary on the Civil War yet. That will be coming in a future update, but he doesn't have, a, have any at the moment. As opposed to improper lockpicks, exactly. I'm afraid no amount of spooky. Let's try that again. I'm afraid no amount of spooky Daedric armor is going to save you now. I'm afraid no amount of spooky Daedric armor will do it all on one note, but I think it sort of works. Let's listen back to it and see whether it still sounds right or whether it just sounds like I'm constantly stuck on one note. Yeah, I think that sounds good. We'll take it. Again, I'm operating on the principle here of will it do? Because otherwise you can spend years recording and I think, I think it'll do. Da 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 ba na 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 ba na na yeah, I'm I'm planning on making it a cause of conflict in the future, Talonarius, yes. It's not in the as I say, there's no commentary on the Civil War in the mod at the moment. He literally won't notice which side you join. But in the future there's definitely no way that Lucian would ever uh, join in in fighting fellow Imperials. Um he just wouldn't. It's just not in his character. <laughs> it's funny, Cthulhuin. I have accidentally exported the bloopers instead of the correct lines before now. That has happened. And only noticed during testing. So you have, you have before now very nearly ended up with some of these bloopers in the actual final version. And I've managed to catch it at the last minute. But um, it does happen, actually. So uh, don't tempt fate. <laughs> I'm sure it would be very funny, but it w wouldn't really sustain immersion. 
like that uh, that uh, oblivion guy who says wait let me do that one again so what's dementia like then is it a sp noise in the background hang on so what's dementia like then is it as spooky as the books say any thoughts no another background noise we'll try one more time so what's dementia like then is it as spooky as the books no no it's all gone wrong i'll try I'll let me try playing back that take that had the background noise and see whether the background noise is actually in it because i thought that was a good take I might artificially extend the pause there between that and the any thoughts. There you go. I think that just makes the timing just a little bit better if I drag that out like that. The hand gestures as I voice act. Yes, so my hands always go together. I've talked about this before. They always go together into pinching motion when, I, when I'm when i speaking as Lucian uh, because of his tension. He, he has all this. The kind of One of the differences between him and me is he has all this upper tension in his upper body in his throat in his voice in his resonant cavities it's all it's all up here it's the same sort of register one might use if one were playing a uh, an olden days vicar you know um the father and the son and the holy ghost uh, it's it's all up there uh, and i find the tension comes out in my fingers when i'm doing it so it pinches uh so that's that's what i and and, and i often do that gesture kind of as i'm talking to try and you know have a bit of the physicality of it So, uh, so there you go. Now I might bring it in a little bit closer. Is as spooky as the books say? Any thoughts? No? There you go, that'll do. Right, export that one. The trouble with gesturing while you're voice acting, what you need to be careful of, because it's all well and good waving your arms around, but you want to be careful not to hit the mic or the table, particularly if you're wearing a ring. That's not a good noise. You don't want that on the track. Um, so you just need to watch out. Or, or your chair making noises as you move backwards and forwards. So it's always good to have a bit of motion in it. If you can voice act standing up, that's even better. But it's a pain when you're trying to sit at a computer and do a stream and mod and everything if you have to keep standing up to voice act. So you know, it's not necessary, but it does make it better for the physicality of it. Um, but yeah, anything that you can do to try and make yourself seem more engaged and not just someone sitting at the microphone recording lines lolo and my name is lucian flavius you know anything to get away from that is good hey gamer victor and welcome back vickle it's going very well thank you at least i say very well we've recorded like like seven lines it's, it's really not very much but we are making slow but steady progress i'm very glad you like lucian talonarius that is nice of you to say Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da. In other words, baby, download my mod off the Nexus and endorse it. What? Um uh a smiling yes anxious a smiling is is a very good thing for recording uh if you are if your character is smiling you can definitely hear a smile in a voice uh so if your character is smiling definitely smile while you're doing voice acting because it does help vocal cords are weird that's true see ya may have a lovely evening hope your dog has a nice time Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. Thank you for the bits, Fickle. Aren't you cold in that outfit? Did Adria even get cold? That must be handy in winter. Uh, 
I love Ori and Lucian's scenes. It was such a treat to get to write and record those um, with Warabiki. She was lovely to work with. Took a risk on me uh, before my mod, you know, before Lucian was out, long before Lucian was out, agreed to record some interactions. Uh, and I think I owe a huge amount of Lucian's relative success to the people who were willing to take a chance on me and record interactions. Uh, so, so yeah, the, uh, the Lucian Ori stuff will always hold a very special place in my heart. Ori or Warwick, yes, exactly, yes. Ba ba da boo da do, da ba do ba ba boo boo ba ba boo ba ba do da di, ba da da do da do, ba da ba bum 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 ba da ba 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 na 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 be da ba ba. Uh, I tried getting in touch with the creators of Sophia and Recorder, but they, uh, never got back to me. So I think what was going on there was, uh, that they are retired from modding. Certainly neither of those mods have received updates in a very long time. So tell me, is it- <clears throat> No, hang on. Hello, my name is Lucien Flavis. Hello there, hello there, hello. I say, goodness me, right. So tell me. Is it true that the rain in Mania falls mainly on the plainlier? Plainlier? Plainier. Mm. One more try. So tell me, is it true that the rain in Mania falls mainly on the plainier? One more time. So tell me, is it true that the rain in Mania falls mainly on the plainier? Let's listen back to this last bit, see whether it sounds any good or whether it's all nonsense. Spot on, Nuna. He can learn some apocalypse spells and some from the Creation Club. Creation Club, not Creation Cub, that's a baby bear. The Creation Club Arcane Accessories uh, DLC. And there's a full list of all the spells he can learn on my website, which is josephrussellauthor.com. And you can find it by Googling Joseph Russell. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. We love the nonsense. So tell me, is it true that the rain in Spania, main in main, not the rain in Spania, the rain in Mania. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. What do you mean more spells? Keep tasks. I haven't added any more spells in the new update, but as in Lucian can learn all the vanilla spells except for necromancy and daedra summoning and illusion up until adept level i think and then he's got uh all the spells i could make work from apocalypse and uh all the spells i could make work from the uh arcane accessories plugin maybe not all the spells i could make work from apocalypse actually but at least again up till up to a point up to a particular level yeah and then um but all the spells i could make work from arcane accessories which is the vast majority of them is there a reason his spells stop at adept yeah so uh, if you are a mod author, like myself, with a finite amount of time, you need to prioritise the things that will be used by the most people. And NPCs cannot cast adept level spells until they hit level 50. Uh, apprentice at level 25, adept at level 50, expert at level 75, and master at level 100. And I'll be honest, the chance of you getting Lucian's destruction skill much higher than 50 well, higher than 75 in a playthrough, are extremely slim. So, therefore, I thought if I bothered to uh, implement spell learning for those higher level spells, only a very small number of people would ever actually use them. And in terms of prioritising, it was worth my time to focus on the lower level spells that you'd be more likely to be able to teach him. So, yes, that is the reason that his spells stop at Adept. I would love to carry on at some point, and I will at some point, carry on working my way through the spells and teach him all the ones up to Master. But obviously I started with the ones that you could get earlier on. That should also answer your question, Bobzilla. NPCs can use master level destruction spells, provided that they have level 100 destruction. If, they're, if the NPC's destruction skill is 100, then they can use them. 
provided as well that it is a basic damage spell. If it's a fancy effect, if it's something bizarre from a mod or something that uses a scripted damage sort of thing, something that isn't just deal damage on enemy, then uh, then it won't be. They won't cast it. That's why Lucian can't generally use most illusion spells, because the AI has no concept of what to do with that. NPCs just don't know how to use them. What will happen if Lucian reaches max bravery? Uh, nothing. Um, as his bravery increases, you should find his dialogue subtly changes to reflect that. But nothing special happens as your bravery increases. As you know, there's no no special thing that happens as he reaches a particular level. It's just you'll find he's more likely to use more uh, confident phrases and less likely to go, Oh, gosh, goodness me, help, I say! I'm under attack! Ah! You know, all of that. And there's some new stuff in the new update coming up. There's a particular conversation that unlocks that you can have with Lucian when your approval reaches, oh, I think 60 and his bravery reaches 30, or it might be approval 80 and bravery 30. Anyway, once those two things reach a particular milestone, i.e. when Lucian's been with you for a long time, there's a conversation that unlocks that you can have a little conversation with him about his ancestor Octavius, uh, who is the star of my Elder Scrolls online streams that I do on Mondays every now and again. I don't do them every Monday, but a lot of the time, and they're all on my YouTube channel. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, he'll talk about Octavius, and you have some opportunities there to tell him how much you like him. Because I know some of you wanted to have opportunities to tell Lucian that he is valued. So there's an opportunity there for you to be nice to him. I don't know what Firestorm is, Bobzella, but if it's a Dragon Ball-style lightning beam, I don't know where that's from either. So I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Are these vanilla spells? Bobzella? Because if you've seen, you know, if you if these are vanilla spells, you won't have seen them use them unless they're a... Uh, their level is sufficiently high, and I, I don't think any NPCs really have 100 destruction, naturally. So you'll, you'll only see NPCs use those if, they are, if they're the right level, right level destruction to use it. So you won't, you won't see that happen in the game, unless you manually create it. Hey, Batty, welcome to the stream! Right, let's record another line. Don't you think all that gold is just a smidge much? I'm sure you have a lovely personality. There's no need to overcompensate. Nah, I garbled that one slightly. I had a sort of th where I was about to say thus and didn't. Don't you think all that gold is just a smidge much? I'm sure you have a lovely personality. No need to overcompensate. Uh, yes, so Jazago won't have a level 100 destruction, but yes, vanilla NPC skills do increase as they level up, so they scale. That is the effect of leveling up. Leveling up does nothing uh, in the game at all. Uh, it's just simply as they level up, you get um, their skills increase proportionally. So uh, those are ones that are set to scale with the player. So if Jazago is set to scale with the player, his destruction will increase as you play with him. But the chances are his destruction will probably never reach 100. I'd be surprised if that happened. Is Lucian a good swimmer? Yes, an excellent swimmer. If you bring him in the water, he will swim quite happily. Would Lucian complain if you gave him money? No, he wouldn't. But he doesn't need it. He's very wealthy. Uh, Game of Victor, M. I solved it. I solved your riddle. M. 
is the answer. I'm so clever. Hee hee hee. Go me. That was very satisfying. Thank you. I love riddles. I see Nuna got it too. There you go. That sounds all right to me. Bum, 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 bum. If I want to make him more warrior-like and I turn off his spell and set his behavior to warrior, why after a few minutes he starts to use spells again? Uh, no, he'll use spells unless you disable the spells. Oh no, Tanskarel, this isn't a line about the player's gold. This is the line for golden saints. If you're fighting a golden saint, they're wearing golden armor. He's not criticizing you for uh, for having got, for having lots of money, not at all, Tanskarel. But no, if you if you don't want Lucian to cast spells, you need to turn them off. You need to tell him don't use that spell anymore. Just setting him to warrior won't stop him casting spells. It just means he's more likely to prefer using melee weapons over using his magic. Oh, this is a savage line from Lucian here. I don't know whether it's really a bit much for him. It's a it's a burn, like apply ointment to burn here. That armor must take a lot of polishing. Mm, one more time. That armor must take a lot of polishing. Or does mummy do it for you? Now that line actually on reflection I'm going to gate. On a bravery check. So I want get VM quest variable. And I want to go JR Lucian follower. And I want bravery. And he will only use this line if his bravery is greater than, somewhat arbitrarily, let's say 20. He has the sass. The sass is strong with this one. Yes, exactly. Something he would say once he has a bit more spine. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. White run, white run. These solitude shoes. Can only imagine how savagely sassy Joseph can be IRL. I try and be nice. Uh, no, Talonyaris, I'm not getting into a game of uh, which mod is better than which other mod. That's not a very nice thing for mod authors to hear. It's never fun to have comparisons. They're both great mods. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of both. Kaiden, Hoth, Inigo, Ori, Velia. All some of my favourite follower mods. All worth trying. For sure. Yeah, definitely get both. Why not? Build a little squad. Do 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 do. Da, 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 da. Now this is for the corrupted Spriggan. You really don't look healthy. Poor thing.
this, I think, channeling Doctor Who a little bit. Uh, when Lucian, because I like, I like this aspect of Lucian, you know, that he's a scientist, and I think he finds, when he's confronted with these terrible creatures, uh, you know, he's done this before, he'll remark on how beautiful they are. They say it's beautiful, and here he has, he's confronted with a corrupted Spriggan. He's been distorted by the Shivering Isles, but he's, um, you know, he's sorry for it. I think that's a nice aspect of his personality. And yes, I've, I've pinched it from, from... There's a character trait that I've pinched from Doctor Who. A soft, caring science lad. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy sick cat, happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Sad face. Because he's sad. These things are beautiful. Horrible, of course, and far too vicious for my liking, but beautiful. This is talking about the elytra now, these little skittery insect things that come at you in the Saints and Seducers mod. Did somebody mention Tiny Sun? Whee! Ooh, Tiny Lucian, ooh, Tiny Lucian, ooh, Tiny Lucian, he's on the case. Ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, he's on the case. Ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian, ooh, Detective Lucian's got a handsome face. Science bros! Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> exactly. I yeet Tiny Lucian and he, he enjoys. He enjoys being yeeted, you know, it's fun for him. This is how he plays. Ooh, Tiny Lucian. He's going to fall down now when I bring this to the front. You ready? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, fair enough. He'll just stay up there. Ooh, Tiny Lucian. Ooh, Tiny Lucian. What a little son. Did you know these things like to lay their eggs inside their victims? Food for thought. Does Daveth's story happen in the Lucy and the Dragonborn story or Lucy and the Perfectly Normal Imperial story? Ah, uh, neither. So, Lucy and the Dragon Normal Lucy and the Perfectly Normal Imperial story is is one timeline. Lucy and the Dragonborn is obviously a timeline where Lucian is the Dragonborn, and Daveth's is a story where Daveth is the Dragonborn, which obviously won't be the same timeline as your playthrough where you are the Dragonborn. So I'd say they're each their own reality. Although we will, of course, be exploring the nature of Lucy and the Dragonborn's reality in season two, which I hope to be get back stuck back into later this year. So that should answer a few more of your questions about how all of that works. we go oh 
Oh, I love the fanfics. You guys do some amazing fanfics. And it's lovely to see some of the more niche characters, like from my streams, like Octavius and Daveth and Jacuzzi and all of that, to see these other elements show up too. is really fun. I have seas without water, coasts without sound, sand, towns without people, and mountains without land. Now, I've heard this one before, but I can't for the life of me remember what the answer is. I have seas without water, coasts without sand, towns without people, and mountains without land. You guys might get there before me. Hmm. Seas without water, coasts without sand, towns without people, and mountains without land. I love the rhyming ones. Ooh. Oh, I'll work on it. See if I can get there. Lord Bibliotech in a fanfic. That's a deep cut, isn't it? <laughs> I'd love that, though. Whisper it. Whisper the name of Bibliotech. Oh, is it? Is it a map? Oh, you're... Oh, I mean, good riddle. Thank you for sharing it. I don't really like that one very much. A map. Towns without people, coasts without sand, seas without water. I mean, fine. Fine. I'll give it to you. It's not a very satisfying riddle, though. I think this one I'll make Lucien say with a smile on his face. Lord Bibliotech had cannons. What do you mean had cannons? Lord Bibliotech's cannon. Clearly. That definitely wasn't Dave just making things up as he went along. Uh, this is for... Uh, we're talking about my Skyrim playthrough now, by the way, for those of you who don't know. So every Saturday we play Skyrim. We have si Skyrim Saturdays. Uh, so I stream Saturday, stream Skyrim on Saturday. And I play a character called Daveth Marvin. Who speaks like this? Hello, my name's Dave. Daveth. A thief. He's not a very good thief. But uh, we, we, they asked me his, uh, his tragic backstory the other day. So I, uh, I, I, I definitely didn't make it up on the spot. Nope. The books say Elytra are known for their gentle nature. Apparently nobody told this one. That's great to hear, Nuna. I'm thrilled. Now, I was worried that there was a grey jingle on the end of there, but there isn't, so it's okay. I can't hear it when I play it back. So that's good. We can export that. Alive without breath, colder than death, all in mail, never clinking, never thirsty, always drinking. He's a fish! That's what it is, Panther Brain. Isn't that from Lord of the Rings? Oh, The Hobbit. That sounds like a golem riddle. Scooby Dooby Doo. Fish. So juicy, sweet. See what Spiegel finds. I love the Hobbit. I think it's my favourite book. Bum 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 ba 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 do 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 ba, ba, bum. great we're done with the combat lines now so detection did i do any for those nope so we're on to misc massive stack of misc lines this is going to take us ages we're not going to finish this on today's stream but maybe next week I 
I might go through uh, a bunch of these in one go. Ah, no, never mind, actually. We can try. Gosh, that armour looks rather chilly. Intimidating, sure, but there's definitely been some skimping on material, I feel. I'm not sure this armour suits me. Also, my chest is cold. The glare of that armour is quite something. Might be useful in battle, actually. You could blind our enemies with your magnificence. Usually works for me. This armour is fabulous. A bit Daedric, mind, but the Golden Saints have excellent taste. This amber armour is fascinating. It's so light, but so strong, too. Quite remarkable. You look great in orange. You look great in orange. That armour looks great. Oh, they taste great. That armour looks great, but... That armour looks great, but it's really not the best camouflage, is it? Now, was that supposed to be a sneak line? No, it's just for players who are usually good at being sneaky. Fair enough. Right, I'll export that bunch and we can implement them. I'll have you know, I look great at orange, Bard. Oh, there once was a hero named Ori the Orange who... Ah, uh, written myself into a corner there. Shoop da doop dab doop dab doop. Shoop da doop da ba ba boop. Be da be da be da be da ba ba da ba ba da ba. Loads of things rhyme with orange. Morange, borange, lorange, dorange, corange, norange, zorange, torange, blorange. Flippadunk Morange Zibbalongange Also my chest is cold, goodness me, gosh gosh goodness gracious darn crikey. Export number 17. Supercalifragilisticexpialidorange. Even though the sound of it is something quite a trorange. If you say it loud enough, it almost sounds precorange. Supercalifragilisticexpialiorange. I'm the little little um de lie, I'm the little little um de lie, I'm the little little um de lie, I'm the little little um de lie. Da 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 Paraceta moxifrusi bendro neomycin. Zapupa dapa diba dapa duba dapa do. I like a taka dinka doka dicka do do do. La pa 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 pa. Do 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 do
Oh, chim chiminy, chim chiminy, chim chim cherry. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim chiminy, chim chiminy, chim chim cheru. That luck will rub off when I shake sands with you. Oh, blow me a kiss. And that's lucky too. Bum bum ba ba bum bum ba dum bum bum. Ba da da ba da ba da da bum. I might give him a slight disgust tone here. La 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 da ba ba da da da. Do do. What bug would that be, able mind? A production of Mary Poppins Junior. I've never heard of that one. Feed the birds. Tuppence a bag. Tuppence. Tuppence. Tuppence a bag. Feed the birds. Tuppence a bag. Tuppence. Tuppence. Tuppence a bag. Right, next line. I broke your mum. I'm I'm sorry, Tans Coyle's mother. Let's go. Go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Let's all go fly a kite. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I've run out. Do we know any more Mary Poppins songs? Probably forgotten. Lift your knees up, step in time. Lift your knees up, step in time. Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Lift your knees up, step in time. I might be paraphrasing that. Oh, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. The medicine go down. Oh, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Thank you for the bits, Vico. Quite remarkable. See, I've got to entertain you somehow while I'm listening back to these things that you can't hear. So light, but so strong too. Quite remarkable. Remarkable. Marvellous. I say. Goodness me. Mary Poppins meets Lucian. That would be fun. I say hello. I say hello. They could just have the same lines. <laughs> just turn them round. Wholesome overload, exactly. I feel like Lucian probably had a governess like Mary Poppins uh, when he was growing up. Emma wrote that she recorded a single block, then put them one by one as she mixed, so when a line was finished, it was put in the game almost right away. Gary apparently had great trouble getting rid of mouth noise with Inigo, so he records around 20 takes for each line, and records batches of about 100 lines at a time. That is a big batch. Then he picks the best take, cleans them, and then puts them in related batches, combat, weather, etc. Whatever works for the individual. Right, yes, so. With Gary. <laughs> Gary, Gary does, does an amazing job. Gary puts far more uh, time and effort into these things than I do. <laughs> uh, you know, never does anything by halves. It's why Inigo is such amazing quality. 
I can't quite imagine doing 20 takes and then picking only the best one for Lucian stuff. You know, I'm, I'm one and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good enough. We'll put that in. <laughs> oh, I certainly couldn't do batches of 100 at a time. I'd die. Mary Poppins follower release when? Bum 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 ba da bum bum ba da ba dum bum bum. Come on, copy the line over. Why won't you copy the line over? Oh, just copy the line over into the Jalusian voice folder. Then we can rename and implement it and generate the lip. This one can be a happy line. I usually just go with 50 for a lot of Lucian's facial expressions. Go too much more than that and it starts to look quite distorted. Okay, now I really have run out of uh, Mary Poppins songs. It's got lots of good music in it, though, hasn't it? Oh, I'm still calling these combat. These should be idols. Oh, well, I'll rename it now. I'll only confuse myself later, but it's not often that I need to actually re revisit these lines after they're done, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, so you could definitely voice her. Work on your British accent a bit, which I'm sure you pretty much had there before when you were when we were on our last lesson. But you could definitely voice a Mary Poppins follower. Do, do, shut my dab. I haven't seen the sequel. So I couldn't comment. In the most delightful way, yeah. Export. I once said what Lucian had said a minute earlier and then got attacked by a dragon immediately. Is it down to mic quality or settings that keeps the program from picking up your breaths? Um, so I try and be careful not to be too breathy. And if I, uh, if I hear a breath in the recording, which I do sometimes, I decide whether or not I can live with it. And if I can live with it, I keep it because people do breathe. You know, it's unnatural to have something without any breaths. But if there's a breath that's too loud, I'll cut it and retake. Pop filter helps, but doesn't make too much of a difference. The main thing is the microphone and not being too close to it. Um, but if you just be careful to breathe quietly and try not to go <gasps> midline, then that helps. Your most important thing is the uh, microphone. Something from Greece. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of Greece. I watched it the other day for the first time and I, I'll be honest, I didn't really get it. I didn't. I'm sorry. It's got some good songs in it, but, but what? <laughs> it's, 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 um, I'm sure it, it's lovely, but, but it's, it's also slightly problematic. And, um, and, and it's, yeah, it's just a bit of a, it's a bit strange in a lot of ways. There's no reason your character shouldn't breathe properly, Bard. Exactly. Heavily, Bard. You know, exactly. It's it's. This is the thing. People say, oh, I can't voice act because X, Y, Z. Because my voice isn't good enough. Because my voice sounds... Uh, I have the wrong accent. Because I have a particular uh, a disability or anything like that. And, and the fact is, you're a human, I assume. And you speak like this. So why should your character in Skyrim not speak the same way? You know? There's no reason for it. There's no reason to not have it. Just give them, just make it part of their character. So if you breathe a lot heavily, make your character breathe heavily. Diversity, exactly, Armiter. It's natural diversity, but I just don't take that aspect away from yourself. You know, have it as your character. I, th I firmly believe any accent, any voice, anyone can voice a Skyrim mod. 
because you are all able to talk realistically. You know, you talk to your friends, one assumes, or to your family, or to anyone. You know, there will be people in life who you talk to, and no one listens to you going, oh, that doesn't sound very realistic, I didn't believe that. Do they? You know, you have the capacity to do it. Sorry, bard. Feel free to ask again if you missed something that, that you wanted me to hear. Um, right. If you can talk, you can voice act. It's so true. If you can't talk, I'll admit, you will struggle to voice act. Sorry. But if you can talk, then you can voice act. Right, let's do another batch. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. Mm, try again. I think all ar mm, weird, weird tongue noise there. <laughs> okay. I think all up there. Words. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. One more try. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. No, come on, we can do it one more time. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a... I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting it. It's just not quite working. I'm just going to keep retaking it until I get one I'm happy with. Bear with me. Apologies. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. No, not at all creepy. Because it's creepy. You know, it is creepy, but it's like, not at all. Not at all. Not at all creepy. Yeah, okay, if I deliver it like that, so it's sarcastic. Right, okay. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Shush, Grey. Hush. I think all armour should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. I like that one. I think that one's the one. Let's listen back to it. Make sure there's no weird noises. No, that's me saying I like that one. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hey, Gold Shadow. You are very welcome. Thank you for your lovely comment. So, don't get me wrong, Check. I'm not saying everyone who is acting... I'm not saying all acting is good. I'm saying if you can talk, you have the capacity to do good voice acting. Whether you do it or not is a matter of practice. But um, I'm saying everyone has the capacity to do convincing voice, voice acting. Because assuming you are not emotional and flat and unrealistic in real life. You're not emotionless. You know, if in... I'd be very surprised if in real life you say... Hello there, my name is Lucian Flavius, I am a scientist. You know, you don't talk like that, naturally. So therefore you have the physical capacity to do that in front of a camera, you just have to convince yourself that you're talking to someone else and not reading lines. People in the UK can do a passable US accent, you think? Yeehaw, Panther Brain! I'm a passable US accent! Yeehaw! Howdy, y'all! Posh to check, certainly will. <laughs> I 
I did prove your point, Bard. Well, hydrate, certainly will. Welcome to Texas. This is my Texas accent. It's exactly the same as every other American accent I can do because it's the only one. Yes, Tom Holland can do a American accent. He does a good job. Oh my god, I was like, I was like with Chad the other day at his frat party and he was like, oh my god, and I was like, oh my god, and then he was like, oh my god. And then we were like, oh, he's so dreamy. And I was like, yeah, he's so dreamy. Isn't he so dreamy? And I was like, yeah. And such. And, and you get me. And, and all of that. And yeah. Oh my god, Chad. She was looking kind of dumb with a finger and a thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. For a moment there, I was starting to hear voices, but it's okay, this armour says- No, no, one more time. I thought for a moment there, I was starting to hear voices, but it's okay, this armour says I'm just imagining it. One more time. I thought for a moment there, I was starting to hear voices, but it's okay, this armour says I'm just imagining it. Yep, lovely. Good stuff. Well done, Joseph. Why, thank you, Joseph. Clive put armour, <laughs> exactly. You know, you should always listen to the mysterious thing that talks in your mind. Clive, Mr. Dragonfly. I don't know why I made you go French there. For some reason, I was trying to do the throaty voice. Mr. Dragonfly does not like this place. But now he has become French. Hello, my name is Inigo. Where is Mr. Dragonfly? I cannot find him. <laughs> I don't know what a Czech accent sounds like. Right, let's do another little batch of these. We've got half an hour left on the stream. Je m'appelle Inigo. Je suis un chat bleu et intelligent. Alors, excellent. Bibliothèque. Who are you calling to for Gray? Do you have to jingle when I'm recording? Shush. Who are you calling two faced? Watch where you sw mm -mm. Watch where you swing that hammer. It's making me nervous. This hammer has teeth on the inside. Why? Unclear. One more try. This hammer has teeth on the inside. Why? Unclear. I wonder what 
Jigalag makes of you swinging his sword around. Doesn't he need it? Probably not, to be fair. He has enough spikes as it is. As is. As is. Zzzz. I wonder what Jigalag makes of you swinging his sword around. Doesn't he need it? Probably not, to be fair. He has enough spikes as is. One more try. I wonder what Jigalag makes of you swinging his sword around. Doesn't he need it? Mm, probably not, to be fair. He has enough spikes as is. Have you noticed how this whole sword is just one continuous piece of metal? Clever stuff. Glad to see that helmet being put to a better to blip, 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 blip. Glad to see that helmet being put to better use than Thoron could manage. Hope it's comfortable. I can't see a thing wearing this. I don't know how Thoron managed. That's a nice looking helmet. Hope it was worth the trade. That's a nice looking helmet. Hope it was worth the trade. Okay, that's another little batch that'll do. You'd like to hear Lucian's voice over tech, do tech support over the phone. Hello there, you've reached Flavius Technologies. How can I help you? Certainly just putting you through. Hello there, this one is called Jacuzzi. This one is here to help you with your problem. This one think you have big virus in your computer, very big virus. I only be able to fix if you remove virus by transferring me uh, 5,000 gold straight away. You send into my account. Yes, all right, Jacuzzi. No, no, no. I've told you not to do that. Well, you are spoiled sport, I, this one thinks. All right, both of you, shut up. This is Dave. Have you tried? Turning it off and on again. Somewhere in a parallel universe, that's what's happening. Have you had, this is a question from Panther Brain a little while ago, have you had anyone ask if they can revoice Lucian in another language? No, no one's ever offered. Don't know how I'd feel about that, really. Oh, this is me speaking in French as uh, Inigo. Oh, these are hellos, not idols, actually. I'm a fool. Foolish fool. How did Dave become their manager? Nobody knows. <laughs> Didn't somebody earlier on us? Who who was it in the chat just now who said you could do a perfect Luci uh, perfect Joseph impression or perfect Lucius? I'd love to Lucian. I'd love to hear that. Do your best impression of me. Dave lied in his resume. Definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, I used to work for a company called uh, Bibliotechnologies. Bibliotechnologies, yeah, it's in, uh, it's, in, um, it's in France. Yep, 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 lovely company. They said I was great, honest, no need to check. It's fine, don't worry, I checked. I already checked for you. I phoned the manager and he said it was lovely. It was great, very good, so you better give me the job. Yep, 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 all good, all good, lovely, lovely, lovely stuff, lovely. Do, 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 do. <laughs> exactly, Vard. <bad>. Bibliotechnologies. <laughs> this hammer has teeth. This hammer has teeth. And that's the thing as well, if it's in another language, I wouldn't be able to tell what it 
sounds like you know I'd, I'd hear it but i wouldn't i wouldn't know how accurate it was or i wouldn't have that sense of whether it sounds like lucian you know i don't know whether i could identify a posh french accent from a lower class is it lower class working class sort of i don't know what do you call it what's that what do you call it that that uh stereotype cockney kind of <laughs> that dave has the one that's deliberately kind of fake. The sort of Dick Van Dyke with a sore throat. Hello. All right. Mary Poppins. But it's not an accent real people in the real world have. Not like that. Like it. Well, maybe they do. Maybe some people do. I've never met anyone who's gone to that extent, you know, with a full hello there mockney that's it mockney very good now was it who are you calling two faced i haven't done this one yet have i yeah so that was the first one uh but what was that i better play this one back actually to see what it was I thought for a moment there I was starting to hear voices, playing? but it's okay. This armor says I'm just imagining it. I think all armor should have a face on it. It's a lovely feature. Not at all creepy. Uh, I think all armor should have a face on it. That was our first line from this set, wasn't it? Oh no, we did that. Oh, I've confused myself now. I've confused myself... Oh no. Who are you calling Two Faced is the first one I'm looking for here. Which is. Is it Hello One? Who are you calling Two Faced? Yes, it is. Right, okay, I'm with it now. This is Hello One. Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet and go over everything. I'm glad you're enjoying Grunge and Roses. Hi, back. I'm Joe. No, welcome back, Caesar. There's about 15 minutes left on the stream. Hey, you, Tim Randall. Welcome. Hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times This one I'll put maybe surprise Sort of to express general bafflement Hydrate certainly will Hello Can you hear me? Am I still working on the same sense of juices? I am. Yes, we'll probably finish it next week. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly something came into my something while I was something. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains Within the sound of silence Hello Jigger like my friend I've come to pinch your sword again Uh, I appreciate that. Probably what that wasn't the full song and probably wasn't worth uh, your points. So I will refund you your points. I'm sorry. I'm just. I need to finish exporting these lines before we finish the stream, and um, I can't really launch into a full song now that requires me to look up the lyrics. 
The other one was, There was a house in New Orleans. Well, they call the rising sun. And the house is full of memories. But these lyrics really aren't one. <laughs> I don't know how this song goes But it's got bits that sound kind of cool And I hope when I try and sing something vaguely approximating to it You won't think that I'm a fool I swear this has been asked on like the last three streams I've done of Have I heard Sign of the Times? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. There was a house in New Orleans, they call the rising sun. And it is full of memories, and I don't know. That's quite fun. I don't know what Big Iron is, I'm afraid, Caesar. Don't worry, you guys who are requesting songs that I don't know, I will refund your points. Oh, crikey, thank you so much for the bits, yummy! You really are pushing for that bits leaderboard. I'm afraid putting a sad face emoji makes no difference to whether or not I know the song. Sorry, I don't know that one, Tans Kyle. I want to see the very best. I want to be the very best. That one I can do, check. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you... Swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble. Just whistle. And this will make things turn out for the best. I always look on the right side of life. And I'm going to have to sing it there because I can't do the uh, whistle. Be do, be do, be do, be do. Always look on the right side of life. Be do. Be do, be do, be do. If life seems jolly rotten, then there's something you've forgotten. And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. If you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, that's the thing. And always look on the right side of death. Be do, be do, be do, be do. Just before you draw your terminal breath. Be do, be do, be do, be do. Ah, uh, how does that go now? Can't remember now. Hang on, I've confused myself. What was Hello 8 there? That's a nice looking helmet. Hope it was right. That was the wrong take. That was the early take. This is what happens when you guys make me sing. Right, export that one over the top. Cliff Racer song I can do. This is Lucian's version. Flying, flying in the sky. Cliff Racer flies so high. Flying. Flying, oh, flying, flying in the sky. Cliff racer flies so high. Flying. Stupid question from Yoja Manor. It's not a stupid question, but why did I call Lucian's horse Clive? As a joke. 
when we were testing it, I created a horse for Lucian, a test horse, just to be a placeholder. And for fun, we called it Clive, because it just felt like a fun name for it, just sort of ordinary, boring name. And then it stuck, and I couldn't see him as anything other than Clive at that point. So that went in the mod. And it fits his character. Being baffling and unexplained. Why is he called Clive? Well, why is anyone called Clive? Because it's his name. Noticed how this whole sort flying oh flying in the sky cliff racer fly so high flying yeah oh gosh that's the wrong thing Does anyone really know what Clive is? Where he came from? I do. You don't. <laughs> he is a perfectly normal horse. Exactly. Don't know why people suspect there's anything more to him than that. Hi, Silver. Welcome back. He's not a Daedra. No. Lucian tells you that. Lucian says he isn't a Daedra. Just because he comes from Oblivion, or rather from an Oblivion gate, doesn't mean he's a Daedra. Ooh. Did you hear that shoulder click there? Did you hear that? Just when I moved my arm, my whole shoulder went click. Oof. How did Clive even get into an Oblivion Gate? And why? Why indeed? These are the questions. What's the opposite of Daedra? The opposite of Daedra is Deirdre. Deirdre who is the friend of Todd's grandma. Every grandma has a friend called Deirdre in the UK. And uh, and that, that is the opposite of, of the Deirdre. They like tea and will natter on at you for hours. I like both these theories kicked ass. Also possible, Panther Brain. Right, I think I'll maybe do two more lines and then we'll call it a day. I feel like this helmet suited that golden lady a lot better than it does me. An apron with a hood. Very practical if you need to do any smithing in the rain. One more time. An ape, an apron with a hood. Very practical if you need to do any. Sm an apron with a hood. Very practical if you need to do any smithing in the rain. Very practical if you need to do any smithing in the rain. An apron with a hood. Very practical if you need to do any smithing in the rain.
And I'll just export these two. Yeah, I like that. Flying, oh, flying in the sky. Cliff racer fly so high. Flying. Bum, bum, bum. Bum 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 Poor Chive It's far more herbal than he is <laughs> It's the vegan alternative Flying ho oh, flying in the sky Right, I think that's your lot for today. Because we are coming to time now. So I think I'm going to park it there. Friends, this has been marvellous. Thank you all so much for turning up. It's been lovely to have so many people on the stream. Uh, all you new people is lovely. If you haven't followed the channel, please do consider clicking that little heart button and following. Because that means you'll be more likely to know next time I'm streaming if you enjoyed this sort of nonsense do uh do sub to that i would i will sub or one i mean follow uh because it's all good fun check me out on youtube if you haven't done because i'm there i have vods of every stream i've ever done on my vod channel and i have a bunch of original content on my main youtube channel do have a look at those and yeah lucian update coming out very very soon keep an eye on my social media and on the discord i'll make sure you don't miss it but um, I'll be sure to ping everywhere when that comes out. And I really hope you enjoy it. Because I think this will be the last time I speak to you before that comes out. Probably. Depending. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, depending on things. I don't want to commit to a release date in case things have to be delayed. But it will be soon. So, um, yeah. Really hope you like it. Thank you so much for the donation, Vickle. That is lovely of you. Very much appreciate it. Um, thank you all of you who've subbed and donated and everything today. You've been really generous. Very kind of you. Right. Have a great rest of your day. Stay marvellous. Be good to one another. Wash your hands. Drink enough water. Wear a mask. Etc. Etc. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>